Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. For those of you who are new here, I blog every day at kjaggers.com. You can find my link to my blog in the down bar. So I hope you're having a beautiful and blessed day. It is rainy here and I thought today would be the perfect day to film a birthday haul. Now most of this stuff is clothes and accessories, but I do have another haul, a book haul coming up because my husband bought me a stack of books for my birthday, which I'm so excited to share with you. I wanted to film that separate because um, I wanted to take a little more time to devote to those books and let you know why I got what I got and share with you the books that's going to take me, you know, into spring and into summer. I don't know how far I'll get into summer without having to get some more, but, you know, I can't wait to share that haul with you. This one is mostly clothes, a few accessories, mostly for my husband. My son got me this big candle it's back there on the um mantle and i shared it in a day in the life vlog um he gave it to me like a week early but it was still super sweet and um first of all i want to say thank you for all the birthday wishes i received on facebook and instagram and you know everywhere else through text messages and phone calls i had a ton of people i was catching up with on my birthday so thank you guys so much it means the world to me and um um, I'm, I'm happy to be sharing some of the stuff Scott got. So the first thing that's not clothes and not accessories that I'm going to share is this beautiful little mug he got me. So it's got the Psalms quote that says, He fills my life with good things. Psalms 103.5. It's got this beautiful little design. And look at the cute butterfly handle. I love it. It's blue on the inside. And it's got big yellow flower on this side. And then it's got this little lid dash saucer that you can use to hold your mug or cover your, your little mug up so your coffee or hot tea stays warm. Um, and, or if you're drinking outside, sometimes on the porch, this will keep you know any little bugs from flying if you're, you know, put your coffee down for a minute. So I think this is gorgeous and I think it is so sweet and I, I love it. So yeah, love that. And I'm gonna be using it. It's not one that's going up where I never use it, that one I'm using. So the first thing, or the, the first big accessory I'm gonna share with you, I, I think I've only got two accessories right now, um, is a purse from Donald Pilliner. And I got mine from Overstock before you guys started asking. They had two colors, one in this beautiful lilac purple color, the other in a poppy color. And I went to um, order after I got one, I went to order the other one and they were sold out. Um, but the one I got was this beautiful purple ostrich bag. Now it is a cross body, which I've been enjoying quite a bit. And I'm going to do, you know, I'm more in depth what's in my bag post um, you know in a month or so showing you what I keep inside and telling you more about this purse um, and I'll put the information below to overstock and you can you know kind of look around online if it's something you want I thought it was so pretty for spring look at that and I just really liked it and Scott got it for me. It's a little bit more pricey than what I would pay for a handbag. I do have quite a few really nice ones, um, but here lately I've been trying not to, you know, spend that much money on a handbag. This one I just really loved. It stood out to me and it is the one that, that became my birthday present. So it's beautiful and I'm so thankful I got it. And um, it was a wonderful present from my husband. And I was trying to find a wallet to go with it and I found this one, I haven't used it yet. It's darker, see? Not too happy about that. I might look for a black one. Um, this one came with a little cross. And I might go ahead and use it, I haven't decided. I'll look around, see if I can find a black one. I wanted a smaller wallet for that purse. And a lot of times when I buy a new purse, I try to get a new somewhat matching wallet. And this is like a big leap. <laughs> but um, we'll see if I keep using it um, or if I find a black one, I'm not sure. Um, but I could, that, you know, it was really hard to try to match them up on the computer. I was hoping this would be closer to this color, but it's not. And this one, um, 
Um, it's just, like I said, a very tiny little wallet, but I thought it would be perfect for a crossbody, so you do what you can do. Okay, so, you know, I have been trying to change up some of my clothes. Now, does that mean I'm not ever going to wear a pair of sweats again? I'm in them today, actually. Or a pair of jeans again? No. But I've been wanting to get a few, you know, better pieces. I've been sorting through my closet more and more um, and trying to get things out that I really don't wear and bring things in that are, you know, multifunctional that are classics basically, something that will carry on, that it will wear well, that fits me decent. I am a girl who likes baggy stuff. My husband and my mother wanna see stuff more fitted, but I hate that personally, and I'm kinda in between on most things. I mean, some of them are kinda baggy, but it's really more like my style. And um, I went to three different places. I went to um, Ann Taylor, the um, outlet store. I went to the mall, which included um, a couple pieces from Loft. And um, I went to like 10 different stores looking around. Where did this one come from? This one came from a Gap. And then I went to TJ Maxx. So the first piece, and I'm going to kind of back up so um, I can hold these up. The first piece I got was this Ann Taylor skirt. Now it's been folded and it's a little bit wrinkly. Um, and it was just a classic skirt, kind of short, comes to about my knees. Sorry, there's cat hair on it. We have four cats. I've had this stuff stacked up on my desk to share with you guys. So um, I just got it and I know it's not like a spring color and a lot of these things, a few of them are, but I'm really not a bright color kind of person. Sometimes I do like to wear yellow and I will get some more yellow pieces. But I thought this was classic. So I got the skirt and it's a perfect fit. It is a petite, which I love. And then I got two different shirts to go with it or to, you know, or to wear with other things too. But I, was, I had this in mind when I bought them. And the first one, and I'm not doing a try on, sorry about your luck, but maybe I'll share what I'm wearing if I wear these out sometimes, um, is this one. And this is um, the first blouse I picked out. Some of these things I have wore already. A few, uh, three things, I think. Here is the blouse, and it's, you know, obviously a summer blouse. And I thought it was really pretty, a little more grown up, still a little bit loose, um, and not not too bad, you can see the design. It's almost like a zebra design. And it's got this really pretty ruffle and bow. And I thought it was nice for spring and summer. And I did get a sweater to go with these um, that I will share with you in just a minute. But um, I thought this was really nice, a little more grown up, pretty classic with the ruffle and the bow. Not too constricting around my neck, which is something I cannot stand. So I thought this was a good classic piece that would look good with the skirt, with either tucked in or out, probably tucked out or left out, if you know, if you know me. And then I got, and I am more of a black and gray kind of girl, it's just me. I got this one, and this one was more like cotton, at least I think that's what it is, let me look, yes. And this is another petite, and what I love about this, and, um, no, I had it right. Gotta get it all twisted. I thought it was inside out, but it's not. Hold on, it wasn't, and then I made it inside out. Okay. So this one is it? oh, hold on a second. Come here, you. Get out here. Okay, here we go. How do you get it all adjusted? So this is another very comfy and casual, almost see-through, you can you can see, and I, I need to get a couple new tank tops that I'll pick up soon. But this is so soft. Again, it's got the bow in the middle. It's kind of a little bit different with the bow, but it falls really nice and um, super light. Perfect even for a day at the zoo um, because it's so sheer and so, so soft. Um, and again, I thought if I wanted to, I could pair it right here with the skirt and it would, it would look nice. So the sweater I got um, is also from Ann Taylor. And this one, I haven't even taken the tags off yet. Um, 
no, this is from the loft. I'm so sorry. Sorry. This is from the loft. Um, and I guess I should have left that in the loft stuff, but I actually got it to go with the Ann Taylor stuff. And it's just this tiny little sweater. And um, I got it in a large, so because you know I like baggy. But I thought it would just be more comfortable. And I thought that with these Ann Taylor shirts, um, because I went to Ann Taylor first, um, this little sweater would look great, especially if worn with, you know, like the skirt. So I thought that would be a nice combination. And being that these are sleeveless, and you know, it could be chilly if I, if I have an appointment or something. Um, I didn't want a real heavy sweater, and I found this one at the loft. It was a little more expensive. Um, this was $44, but I thought it was worth it, and I thought it was one of those classic pieces that um, I can wear for a long time, and um, I think it's just really nice. So, love that, and super happy that I have one of these. Some of them um, that I have just kind of cover right here in the breast area, and I don't always want to accentuate that area. I hardly, you know, I, I don't like to at all, really. So, um, yeah, I'm happy that this one comes down the sweater a little bit longer. The last item from Ann Taylor I got, and this was just kind of spur of the moment. I walked past it, and I was like, wow, I'm going to really want that. And um, I tried it on. It looks so soft and free on the mannequin. Um, is this pretty dress. And it's just, you know, let me kind of stand. It's just a very, very casual dress. Um, and I thought it was just so soft and pretty. And the material is, you know, perfect for summer. And I just thought it was beautiful. I mean, it's not like stunning, drop dead gorgeous, but I, it looks so pretty hanging. And mine's a little wrinkled. But um, I've tried it on, it fits perfect. And it's just one of those dresses you can wear with some flats, you could actually doll it up with some heels too. And I do have a new heel giveaway, um, or happy feet giveaway and a new heel video going on. You can check that out, I'll link it below. Um, but these are, this was so soft and hung so pretty that I loved it and I got it and I thought the material was perfect. It's got like this silky lining that, um, you know, will make it much more comfortable um, in the summer. And it's the perfect spring or summer, almost like house dress. And I just liked it a lot, so I got it. Nothing too flashy, you guys know me. Okay, so now let's go over to this pile of clothes that I got from the mall. And um, now, let's see, I got I guess three things from the loft um, because of that sweater. But the first thing I got, and these I've worn already, is these the loft jeans. These are, what are they? They are the modern, and they are petite. And that makes me so very, very, very happy because it's hard to find a pair of jeans that fit well. And um, these on the back, there's nothing on the butt, so there's no attention back there. I really don't need any more attention to that part of my body. Um, but I just loved them, and I loved how they fit. And I think I'm actually going to have to go back and get more. Um, because it's hard to find a good jean. And I found these, and I was, like, like I said, rather impressed. And I'm impressed that um, they fit so well. The cut is perfect on my body. And I'm short. Um... I don't have a lot in the back. I have a rather flat butt. And um, these actually fit well. And I'm so happy I found them. Then I got another shirt while I was there. And I just thought it was pretty. And it's just this. And it's between, it's like a cotton and silky type of shirt. And you can see it's got the ruffles with the flowers. I'm a big fan of gray. And it's got a full cotton back. And I just loved it. And I thought it was in... Um, you know, a very comfortable kind of shape. It's loose, it's got a little bit of a elastic band at the bottom. So I could totally wear it with some um, maybe capri yoga pants or something, um, or I could dress it up. And I just thought it was pretty. Again, there's some detail down here, um, but it's nothing, you know, too constricting. There's nothing up at the neck and um, I really like it. So 
That is one of the pieces I picked out for my birthday. Now, this one came from Banana Republic and um, you know, I'm a sucker for a pretty shirt hanging on a mannequin. I really am. Half the time, I don't even try on the clothes. This time, I tried them all on, and, um, this is the shirt I got. Now, I got this a little bit larger because I love bagginess, um, and my husband first thought that this was like an old lady's, old lady's kind of shirt, but it's not. Now, I need a new tank to go underneath it, um, but, oh my gosh, it falls so pretty this ruffle around the bottom I love, and it's got the ruffle detail along the sleeves, and it's so pretty, and it hangs really nice, and um, I loved it. And it is sleeveless, but you know, you have the ruffle as a little bit of a sleeve, and I just really, really liked it. So I picked that up um, while we were just like chilling around the mall. And then at the Gap, I can't believe I only got one thing. Um, I usually buy more there. I found this tank top. This is like a Gap fit. And the back of it looks like this. It's got, hold on, I'm gonna try to do it justice. Um, it's got two straps on each side. Then it's got the, um, the strap, the X strap in the back, the cross strap. I love the color and design of this tank top. I'll just bring it in so you can see. I love it. And it's got the ruffle bottom and it's got the elastic with a little tie and I just thought this was adorable. I loved it. And my dog's growling, I don't know why. And it's so loose and free. And you know, we are going on a cruise in June and you know, some of these clothes, well, all of them really can be worn on that cruise. So, you know, this and and this and everything will will definitely carry over into vacation. And um, the last few items I got at TJ Maxx. So um, I don't even know who this is by, Robert Lewis. Um, I saw this polka dot shirt and it was so cute and it's got rouge um, on the sides for the rouge gathering. It fits so nice. And then it's got these straps across the back. I was a little worried that they would be big and I thought I could um, um, sew them if I needed to, but when I tried it on, it fit perfect. And um, I like polka dots. And um, if I really wanted to, I could wear it with those jeans or that other little black skirt that I got from um, Ann Taylor. So love this and um, you'll definitely see me in it. And I love, you know, different shirts that are open in some way. Um, for those hot summer days or, you know, when we're on the cruise and we're walking around, you know, in Mexico and such, um, you know, just to have a little bit more of a open kind of shirt because it's really, really hot. Now, the other thing I got at TJ Maxx was this shirt. Now, I recently wore this, um, in a video with Scott, the Try the World video, and I have it on in a day in the life vlog that you guys probably haven't seen yet. But um, I thought it was so pretty. Now, you know, at first glance, this looks purple, but it's more like a pink, pinkish, or purple, it looks gray, but uh, like pink and gray. And then it's got this lace top, or the lace, yeah, well, I guess top. The whole thing's a top, but the, at the very top. Then it's got a big tear cutout. Hello. And um, I thought it was really pretty. I love it, and you know, you guys, I am a girl of comfort. I just am. If it's uncomfortable, I'm not gonna wear it. And all the clothes I got were to help me be comfortable and still look a little more grown up and not look so much like a hobo, which is what my mom and husband like to call me. Um, and Scott always dresses up really nice for work. It's awful weird sometimes to, to see him dressed up and me not so much, but I'm trying and I'm trying to get, you know, a little more grown up. And I think that, um, I'll just keep updating my wardrobe and only have pieces in there that I really love and want to wear. So that is my birthday clothing haul. I'm gonna be doing some more shopping through spring and summer, so stay tuned. I'll have some more of those videos coming up very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. If you have any questions about anything that I showed you, I'll be more than happy to try to help guide you to where you know I got it. 
Um, but most of these things you can find at The Gap and at Ann Taylor and um, The Loft. The Loft was a big place for me this time. I got quite a bit of stuff from there. And um, I usually don't do a ton of shopping at The Loft either, so it was kind of weird. And, you know, TJ Maxx is a great place to find some really cute um, clothes that are not overpriced and pieces that can last for a very, very long time. Now, pieces such as that one with the lace um, right here, you have to be very careful on how you wash it, but still, if it's taken care of, even though it's from TJ Maxx, it will, it will last you. So, you know, I hope um, you guys like seeing this and thank you guys again for all of your birthday wishes. You sent me wishes on Facebook, Instagram, personal email, um, YouTube comments, and it meant the world to me. Thank you so very much. I enjoy getting older and um, I feel wiser, I feel smarter, I feel stronger, and now with these clothes, I feel a little more grown up. So I hope you enjoyed. I'll be getting some more pants and stuff. I got a ton of capris, really pretty ones, and some longer ones, and I got a lot of white, a, white, a lot of uh, pants, a lot of white pants for summer. And I thought this shirt that um, is um, um, light and has some white in it. I think that will go well. I think these pieces will go with a lot of different things already in my wardrobe. So that really helps out too. So I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.